Hi, today we are going to study pattern matching or string matching using finite automata. So first we will look into finite automata then followed by example and working as well as algorithm for the same. So let us start with finite automata definition. Finite automata is collection of finite set of states that is called as Q. So Q is a set which is consist of finite states in which starting state is denoted by Q0 and final state is called as QF. There is finite set of inputs that is denoted by big sigma. There is also a mapping function. A mapping function or a transition function delta that is if any input is given to a particular state is leading to some new state or some another state. Say for example, text string is given as A A A B A B A A B A A B A B A A B and pattern string is given as A A B A B. Our first step is to prepare finite automata of a given pattern. Now our pattern is consisting of 5 characters. So here we are going to generate state that is from Q0 to Q5 in which Q0 is starting or initial state and Q5 is our final state. Input to Q0 is nothing so it is an initial state. So from Q0 to Q1 transition is the first character of pattern. From Q1 to Q2 transition is second character of a pattern. From Q2 to Q3 we have third character as a transition. From Q3 to Q4 transition is fourth character of pattern. And likewise from Q4 to final state that is Q5 the character is the last character of a pattern is a transition. We have to find out transitions for each and every input that is emerging from a particular state. Find out how many characters are there in a given text or a pattern. So set of inputs are only two symbols A and B. So we are to complete finite automata of a given pattern we have to find out transition on each input from each state. So let us start with Q0. In Q0 input A symbol transition is leading to Q1. If B is an input to a Q0, it, we have to match a complete pattern. That is pattern AABAB is actually not matching with any input which starts with B. So Q0 transition of a symbol B is leading to Q0 itself. Now take for Q1. Q1 input symbol A is leading to transition Q2. But what about B? If pattern starts like ABB or ABA, is it matching with our pattern? No, we have to start our pattern matching from very first character. So B is leading towards the our state Q0. Now let us take Q2. From transition, from state Q2, transition of input symbol B is leading to Q3 state. But what will happen if input is symbol A at state Q2? String would be A, 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 A. If set of series of A's are there, is it matching with our pattern P? Yes, because in pattern P, there are two leading A's. So if there are number of set of input A's, we will still be in state Q2. We are actually waiting for B to occur so that pattern can get matched with text. Now consider state Q3. From Q3, if input symbol is A, that is leading towards B, state Q4. But what will happen if at state Q3, input is symbol B? At Q3, if symbol is B, our pattern or our text would be like A, A, B, B. 
so if a a b b is there is it matching with any pattern no it is not matching with our pattern we have to start a pattern matching right from very first character so transition of an input b to state q3 is leading towards the starting state that is q0 now consider state q4 at q4 if input symbol is b then it is leading towards our final state but what will happen if at state q no q4 input symbol is a then our text would be like a a b a a so if a a b a a is there the trailing characters are a a is matching with starting pattern a a so if a is there we have to go back at state q2 which is already accepting string a a also consider final state q5 at q5 is input is symbol a we have a string like a a b a b so the only accepted characters from a string a a b a b a is only a that is we have already accept a symbol if b is an input to our string then we have to start from state 0 that is the preparation of complete finite automata of a given pattern p now next step is to prepare state transition table that is delta to prepare state transition table the number of symbols will be equals equivalent to number of columns and number of states will be equivalent to number of rows so your states are from 0 to 5 so we have columns from 0 to 5 and number of symbols in text as well as in pattern are only two that is a and b so we are going to have only two columns a and b now there are some entries that we have already made in this table so say take example of initial state q not we will fill up row number 0 if input a is leading to state q1 entry in row 0 and input a is created as at state q not if input is a our leading state or next state is q1 so row 0 input a next state is state number 1 similarly if current state is 0 and input is symbol is b what is our next state so we have an arrow towards the q not itself so row 0 input b we are having entry 0 similarly for row 1 we will look at state number q1 at q1 if input is a we are transiting to state 2 so row 1 input a value is 2 similarly at q1 if input is b we are going at state we have transition at state 0 so row 1 col input column b we have state value as 0 now look at state q2 that is row number 2 at state 2 if input is a our state is transited at 2 itself so at row 2 column a value is 2 similarly at state 2 if input is b next state or transited state is q3 that's why row 2 column b is entry as 3 at q3 if input is a next state is q4 so row 3 column a value is 4 similarly at q3 if input is b next state is 0 so row 3 input b is having value 0 at state 4 input is a transited state is q2 so row 4 column a value is 2 at state q4 if input is b row next state is q5 so row 4 column b value is 5 at q5 if input is a next state is q1 that's why row 5 column a value is 1 at state q5 if input is b next state is q0 that's why row 5 column b l value is 0 so this is the preparation of complete table delta we have to find out
state table of a text. We have only processed pattern P, but now we are going to search a pattern in a given text. That is our state step number three. So we have written our complete text in a tabular format. We will start with our initial state as zero. Now look at this way, if current state is zero, our next input is A. So we will look into a table with row zero and input A. Entry in this row and particular column is equal to one. So the table will have an entry as one. Next, what we will look at? We will look at current state. Current state is one and next input is A. So in row one, column, a value of a transition table is 2 so here entry 2 will be made likewise if current state is 2 and next symbol is a look at row 2 column a an entry is 2 so 2 entry will be made in a table next current state is 2 and next input is b so look at row 2 column b value is 3. So in a table we will make an entry of 3. Next current state is 3 and the next input is A. So from a table look at row number 3 and column A. Value is 4. So an entry will be made 4. Now current state is 4 and next input is B. So row 4 column B value is 5. The entry will be made for value 5. Now current state is 5 and next input is A. So look at row 5 and column A. So row 5 column A value is 1. So one entry will be made. Now current state is 1 and next input is A. Row 1 column A value is 2. So an entry will be made to 2. Current state is 2 and next symbol is B. We will make an entry of value 3. Now current state is 3 and input is A. So state 3 input is A value is 4. So an entry will be made for value 4. Similarly current state is 4 and input is A value is 2. So value of entry 2 will be made. Current state is 2, input is B, value is 3. Current state is 3, input is A, value is 4. Current state is 4 and input is B, value is 5. Current state is 5 and input is A, value is 1. Current state is 1, input is A, value is 2. Current state is 2 and input is B value is 3. So this way we have completed our text state table. There are in total 17 characters. That's why indices are starting from 0 to 16. Now searching of an index number of a final state of pattern in a given text table. So final state of pattern is 5. Now we have to find out where are the entries 5 there. So in a text table, first entry of fifth state that is a final state is present at location number 5. So pattern is getting matched at P minus M plus 1. That is M is equal to 5 as well as P is equal to 5. That is 5 minus 5 plus 1. That is our pattern is getting matched at index number 5. One. Again, let us search for final state in a text table. Final state is state number 5 which is getting found at location number 13. P value is equal to 13. We are getting five final state at location 13. So pattern is getting matched at 13 minus 5 plus 1. That is at location number 9. So there are only two occurrences of final state that is state number 5. There are no more occurrences of state number 5. The pattern is getting matched at index number 1 and index number 9. 
Now have a look at FA pattern matching algorithm. So finite automata pattern matching algorithm takes four input. The text which is the set of character string of length n that is t. D delta is nothing but transition table which is a two dimensional matrix having number of rows equivalent to number of states and number of columns equivalent to input symbols. N is nothing but total number of characters in a text string and N is number of characters in a pattern string. Q0 is initial state, so we are initializing initial state as 0. From 0 to n minus 1th character, that is from 1st character of text to nth n minus 1th character of a text, we are looking up into table delta, that is transition table, at row number current state, comma, input as t of i. So, transition table lookup is performed at current state q, comma, input symbol t i. So, whatever the state that is comes as a result will become our new state, that is state Q. If that new state is equivalent to length of character of a pattern, that is the final state. So, we will print that match is found at location I minus M plus 1. And this will be performed for each and every character that means of a text T. For your practice, of text T is given and you have to find all the occurrences of pattern CAB using finite automata. I hope you get clear and correct answer to this problem. Thank you everyone for watching this video. This is Munira Topia signing out.